going on guys? Orms Forum coming at you guys today. Um, I'm going to be talking about Detroit Lions a little bit. Um, two players in, in particular, uh, the Aguara boys. Uh, two brothers, Romeo and Julian. Um, both went to Notre Dame. Both went kind of different paths in, in, in school and, and in the draft and in the pros so far. Um, I'll touch on Romeo a little bit. Romeo is a six foot four, 260 pound kid uh, that played at Notre, uh, at Notre Dame for four years. Um, two years as a linebacker and two years as, as a D lineman, uh, defensive end. Um, didn't do much as a linebacker at Notre Dame. Played much better as a defensive end at Notre Dame. Um, ended up with like 114 tackles. 12 and a half sacks. He had nine sacks in 2015 So at Notre Dame. So that was a really good year. Um, he ended up going undrafted, um, which is a little bit surprising um, the, for a guy that actually had nine sacks um, his last year of school. So that that was a bit surprising. He's probably, he was probably rejected as a fourth or fifth round guy, though, because, you know, he's kind of positionless, not too, too sure. He's a tweener. He's not big, he's not small, but he had a very nice year in 2015. So we ended up going, the, the Giants ended up picking him up as a UDFA, as an undrafted free agent, and um, he ended up doing pretty much nothing in New York. Didn't really have a lot of stats, maybe like a sack or two, a couple of tackles. Didn't do much in, in New York. Then we ended up getting him. We ended up getting him in Detroit in 2018. Um, played well, had seven or eight sacks, Bunch of tackles, um, just played really well. And, and then last year, he kind of fell off. Didn't start like he did the year prior. Um, I ended up having maybe one or two ta uh, sacks, a few tackles here and there. But the thing that bothered me was the, his his lack of production because he didn't start. But he, he got into 14 games. Though. He ended up playing like 14 games, but he just never started. He started like one or two. So that was a little bit weird. I'm not, I'm not sure what was going on there. Maybe it was that different scheme that Patricia came out with, with, uh, with, with Paul Spaghetti Pasta, whatever his name was there. Um, can't even say his last name. Pascolani, I, I, I don't even know. Um, but, but, but he's gone. He's gone, thank goodness. Um, and then <laughs> it was just like a weird scheme with that 3-3-5. Three, three, I, 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 I hope the new D coordinator, coordinator that comes in, Corey Edlin, Comes in and I hope he takes care of business and uh, he he mixes it up, man. Because you can't be just you can't be like having a D tackle, nose tackle, and then one defensive end rushing on the D line. I I hope that's changed. I hope they don't have that same scheme. Whatever. I'm throw I'm going way off course here. Sorry guys, but uh, back to Romeo. So in comes little brother. In comes little brother. This year, um, fired up to come to Detroit. Fired up to play with his big bro. Um, I think it's going to be really good for Romeo. I think it's going to be really good for Romeo. Thing is, I just, I'm not too sure where Julian's going to play. I've seen a, a, like a few depth charts where they had Julian backing up, like Trey, Fl like, I don't know, Julian backing up um, uh, his, his, his older brother. I, I've seen some there where he's, he's backing up Romeo on two or three depth charts. Then I seen one where he's he's playing the jack linebacker spot. Then I seen one where Julian's backing up Flowers. So it's it's been kind of all over the place. I think if Julian and Romeo are playing the same position, I think it's going to be good no matter what. But I, I would love to see those two guys on the on the, on the field at the same time. That's what that's what I would really like to see. Um if they want to if they want to go like that way, I'm fine with it, man. I just hopefully it lights a fire under Romeo's butt, and he, and he gets it going. Um, but I would love to see Romeo and Julian on the field at the same time. I think it'd be really good for each other to push each other right to the limit, and um, sky's the limit right there. So I think Romeo can go back to his 2018 year and get that handful of sacks, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully, maybe with double-digit sacks, if possible, and uh, 
creating pressure, create havoc, do all the things that you did back in 2018. Whatever you were doing in 2018, Romeo, let's see you do it again, baby. Okay? We really need you out there, man. And now you got your little brother. Now you got your little brother to push you because he's, he's the better player, right? He was drafted. Like I said earlier, they went kind of different paths in school. Um, Romeo never really got hurt in school. Julian did, but Julian was the better football player. Um, he was projected to go late first, early second round, ended up falling third round to the Lions. And then we ended up obviously taking him. But he's just, he's, 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 a, he's a little more polished. He's more polished because he can play with his hand in the dirt. This is Julian. Julian can play with his hand in the dirt, and he can play up. He's that jack linebacker. He does. He kind of does it all, and and he can, and he can cover tight ends. He can, he can cover tight ends, or he can cover, or like a running back coming right out in the flats, and that's something that you really, really, really like. And I think it's really going to push his older brother, uh, Romeo. I'd love to see those two. My whole point of this video is I'd love to see those two guys on the field at the same time. Um, just to push each other. Even even Romeo pushing his little bro around, man. Just like my just like my big brother used to push me around, believe it or not. It, it, it happens. And um, it's just, it, it's a good story. Julian was really excited coming out in the draft that he's going to play with his big brother. And uh, I just think it's going to be a really good push for Romeo and Julian. I just wanted to get that out, guys. I think it was, uh, I think it, I think it needed to be said. So, um, that's the video, guys. All right, I'm gonna come at you guys uh, tomorrow. I still got a couple more grades to do. Uh, I got the Steelers and the Seahawks for sure. I, I'm gonna get to. I promise. I promise, guys. I will get to that. Um, <clears throat> but as of right now, I'm just I'm trying to find some Lions things just to touch on the Lions and. Bunch of things down the road, baseball, maybe some hockey. We'll see. Okay, guys, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Be safe. Take it easy. Bang.